So that's how we calculated the transconductance from the drain to the source, which is GM. Now, the output resistance RO is defined as alpha VDS over alpha ID. So RO is the resistance from the drain to the source. The AC resistance, RO, is the change in VDS over the change of ID. Voltage over current is the resistance. And if they are AC, it's the small signal resistance, RO. This is basically can be expressed as 1 over delta ID over delta VDS. So basically take the derivative of the current with respect to VDS and then do 1 over that and you will end up with RO and RO will equal to 1 over 1 half times mu N COX W over L times VGS minus V threshold voltage squared times lambda and we can approximate that we can say that that's roughly will equal to 1 over lambda ID because this component here says it is ID if lambda is neglected so we can approximate it to be 1 over lambda ID so the output resistance is inversely proportional with ID if you want it to increase RO decrease ID or decrease lambda you can decrease lambda by increasing the length of the transistor. So if you increase the length of the transistor and you keep the current constant, you increase RO. Or if you decrease the current, you also increase RO. So you have these two options to control RO. Increase the length of the channel or decrease the current of the transistor. The third important parameter is the body effect transconductance which is GMB. Now GMB is defined as alpha ID over alpha VBS. How much the current will change if VBS changes. If VBS change the current changes and the ratio of alpha ID over alpha VBS is the body effect transconductance GMB. When you carry the math, this is basically will equal to mu n COX W over L times VGS minus the threshold voltage times minus alpha VTH over alpha VSP. And this is basically using the Shane rule, right? Because V threshold voltage is a function of VBS. But we also know alpha VTH over alpha VBS will equal to minus alpha VTH over alpha VSP. So basically here we flip the order of VSP by flipping the sign. And then we say that this will equal to minus gamma over 2 times the absolute value of 2 phi plus VSP quantity to the minus 1 half. Basically what we did is we took the derivative of the threshold voltage equation. So if we substitute this component into the GMB definition, then GMB can be expressed as GM times gamma over 2 times square root of the absolute value of 2 phi plus VSP. And this component here is a fraction or coefficient that depends on gamma and VSP. So we can say that this is nothing but eta times GM. So the body effect transconductance is a function of GM and the DC bias and voltage VSP. The difference between the source and the body voltage affects the GMB. Keep in mind that if the gate, if you go back to the small signal model, if the source and the body are the same, then VSP is zero, that means the current source is zero, and if the current source is zero, is open circuit, you take it out. The same thing with G, with VGS. If VGS, the AC voltage VGS is zero, then this current source is zero, and you end up with RO. So this is also becomes important condition that we look at it in the next chapter, and we will be able to use CMOS technology by making sure that the gate and the source and the body are all connected to zero voltages, then 
the transistor behaves as a resistor and we will get into it next lecture.